Hi, students in 625. I want to give you a quick uh, look here at a feature in Word that you may not be familiar with. I started out uh, by trying to fix up my postress.com page for the course. And one of the things is that I have a uh, group identity for this particular site, but no group emblem, logo, or other type of picture. So I get this question mark on the interface here. Uh, so that was my design problem. I immediately reasoned the way designers do, which is, is there something I already have that I can plug in here? Is there something I can use, reuse? And I remembered a flyer I had created uh, for the undergraduate version of this course. Uh, I created this actually during the graduate version of this course uh, using Adobe InDesign, which has a great deal of uh, typographic uh, flexibility and allowed me to do this uh, fancy uh, typographic uh, design uh, for the name of the special topics course which was of course the name of our book that uh, is the main textbook but I realized this doesn't fit the shape uh, it's going to be so small on the uh, posters page it's not going to work so uh, I don't fiddle around long uh, I realize I've got to do something new. All right, so since I don't have any uh, tools loaded on this computer except Microsoft Word, I go to Microsoft Word and I remember that on the insert ribbon in Word 2007, I've got the smart the the Word art. I've also got the smart shapes, but I've got the Word art over here that I'm more familiar with. The smart art shapes, uh, some of them can also be filled with text, so that might work. Uh, but the the one that immediately stands out as a good tool is the word art so with word art you click you get all kinds of options you pick one doesn't matter you can change it very easily later you draw uh, actually you type into the text box which I did in word art and I get this um, which is linked to once I click on it uh, linked to all kinds of options up here I can change the outline shape the fill the shape and all this is done dynamically uh, using the feature that was new to Word 2007, uh, which allows a designer to uh, skim through, you know, a whole menu of options. Um, and uh, you know, from here then is probably just picking one. Uh, I'd already changed the color. Um, I could go back to my gallery of, of word art shapes and, you know, fool around with, uh, with other possibilities. And, of course, you can see that the uh, situation would be, uh, when do you abandon it? Um, okay, I'm going to stop there. And to convert this into that little uh, logo space, what I would do is... Um, I probably just use my screen capture program to take a JPEG shot of that and then it would be like a, a regular photo um, which is what that web page is asking for in the profile setup so anyway uh, when you see that little logo on our page you'll know this is how I created it and I hope that this encourages you to experiment yourself with some of these items uh, remember it's the insert tab you have illustrations tools and you have word art over here uh, should be a lot of fun to play around with, particularly when we get into the uh, graphically intensive layouts for the course.